And we're back. All right, let's go to the museum. Need a ride? Oh yeah. Oh, he's just gonna stay here for us. Very kind of him. Due to unforeseen, though fortunate circumstances, the business of Madame Lolita have been has been relocated onto the Santa Monica Pier. Okay. There's some humans here. Hello, sir. Oh, I guess we can't talk to him. Oh, maybe he's just there for blood. Well, if anything, we just like go out and get a snack. Hop, hop out of this museum. Grab a snack. <laughs> Thought you could get me with that. Could did, did you think that? Okay, there's a security guard there. Oh! Fuck. Where the rusher could land in this game. I think you can. Maybe just like I unbinded it. How many experience? We have six experience points. We need ten for those wolves. And then we can focus on, like, other stats. Oh, okay. This is the is there somebody in here? 100%. Hello? Where's the sarcophagus, though? One guard. There's the second one. Uh, something is telling me to go over there. But that guy's about to make the trip here. Yeah. Let me zip. This guy's coming here. I swear to God, if they come up this fucking bridge. Um, go away, please. Yeah, it worked. Cool. Okay, I gotta find the sarcophagus. Okay, man. All right, dude. There's gotta be another way to get in there. Okay. Oh. Hey, hold it. Oof. I did it again, didn't I? Well, you know, um, it is what it is. I don't know how expected me to be stealthy, dude. Bathrooms. Big bathrooms. Uh-oh. Hey, who's there? Nobody. Go back to your business. Thank you. Let me in here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we got some paint too? Oh! <laughs> Come up, find out. Get, 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 get here. Oh, nice. Out, boys. Uh oh. Weave. Bring 
breaking your glass. Oh. Now we sneak. Now we sneak. We're gonna blood heal one more time. Yeah, this is how pros sneak in. I hate my job. Up. Oh. Who? Oh, really? Really? This is like this is the equivalent of the uh, the Metal Gear Solid. I'm seeing your footprints in the snow. Oh, dude, you're going the window. You're going the window. No, you're not. Never mind. They'll never see it coming. Anything I can take here? Ooh. Hey, stop right there. <laughs> Stay down. They'll never know. They'll never know. Told you guys. Okay, I'm gonna make a full circle. Run around to the orange side. Oh god. This is the boss office that I've been in. We get the fuck out of here. Been in here. We've entered through here. Whatever. Oh my jeez. Yeah, I think I was doing everything correctly. I just got interrupted rudely. I hate my job. Uh. Next. I had him move the statue to their office and it told me to say hi. The code for the area B2 to 2358. 2358, 2358. Oh my fucking. Come here, you. Oh, you shot him, not me. I didn't do that. Come here. No 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 Come here Okay 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 What are you doing? What are you doing dude? Oh nice dude just in time man Come here, run! Run! See, I don't just suck blood here. I, I feast. Oh my fucking god! Come here, you. It's turned to a massacre. that uh shit hold on I'll be right back two three five eight yes yes hey we had to break a few omelets to get in here but you know what they say you gotta break a few omelets to get in here right right Oh, oh, dude, look, my boss is not gonna be happy about this, dude. Ah. Ooh, nice key card. I'll take that. 
Museum storage key. Ooh. Uh, is that the sarcophagus? Ah! I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very Beckett! This city's not that dull. What happened to the sarcophagus? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen. Or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. I agree. Uh, so what are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. Okay. I needed confirmation. Uh, did you get to examine it at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. <laughs> These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Wait a minute. Is he Grom? Because he talks and thinks like him a little bit. Um, antediluvians are like the... Uh, 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 antithesis, uh, uh, apothesis, antithesis of the vampire race, I think. And Gehenna is, I think, a god. But I'm more, I'm not more unsure about Gehenna. So let's ask about that. Armageddon, Doomsday, oh, okay. the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies: fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the Antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Um. Yeah, so then, what are anti Antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire. Oh. An Antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. And, uh, Cain? Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Now, there's also another vampire game that I want to play with you guys called The Legacy of Cain, and I'm wondering if that uh, interludes with this or not. But, um, you don't believe in Gehenna? As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. True. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument. Which so frequently falls on deaf ears. So you're saying that a self-realized Armageddon warrants more vigilance than a God-induced one. Yeah, I would agree. He says, so see, he's saying that instead of like God or like a proposed biblical figure coming to kill everybody, it's going to come from within ourselves, within our own society, which I agree. Um, are there any other signs of Gehenna? What prophecy doesn't have vague, apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Uh, what, about the, what, what, what about the thin bloods? What, what about them? What about them, bro? What about them, Beckett? Tell me. Tell us. Thin bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? 
Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. So, you're saying that people are afraid that they're gonna mingle so much that they're gonna, like, dissipate the bloodline, in a sense, instead of keeping it pure, quote-unquote. Um... That's a hard question to, to, to answer because they could go in a, in a myriad of different answers. I'm, I'm not sure, personally, I don't think about it. For 300 years, I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? We're a predatory species like lions. We're mutations with powers like in comic books. With the next evolution, we're, we're an alien species from out of space. What are vampires? What are vampires' role in the world? They were a creature, we're a mutant. We're the next evolution, we're an alien species. Well, I don't think we're an alien species. An evolution or a mutation. That could be the same thing. Or we're a predator. Well, I don't think we're mutations. So, I think we're either the next evolution or predatory species. But I think... In, if I have to choose between predatory species or next evolution, I'm going to go with my gut instincts and say that we're the next evolution. Yes, I've heard that theory before. It certainly seems plausible, but there's little proof to support it. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. Yeah, I agree. Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. All right, goodbye, Beckett. <laughs> What's that smile, man? What was that? What are we, Beckett? Great, he's gonna say, "Oh, are you killing the humans again, man?" Did I specifically say not to do that? The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do. Behind your back, there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one. And that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. That's right, so you should have uh, anticipated my decision to go uh, in there so um, kind of on you for not anticipating my own reaction fuck off blood hunt on nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called oh man Rodriguez execution is only a matter of time I have lit the fuse if a war ignites it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for now to the matter of the sarcophagus do you need assistance bringing it up? Uh, so, listen. Um, it kind of was uh, not uh, there. Stolen? I... Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Gary? The Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. Yeah. Uh, the what? I want him found. I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands. Right, so, uh, listen, I've been thinking. Um, 
isn't this sarcophagus like like really big and weighs a lot how are people just stealing it like it's a fucking bagel from like like lunch not the best analogy, I know, but you get what I'm talking about, right? As for our to lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just Ooh. where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Oh. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact New hub. Roger. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort him out. Goodbye. Okay, okay, a Hollywood of the next episode. And it's and it's not uh, Camarilla um, controlled, so I'm expecting some crazy stuff. I'm expecting to see some crazy stuff there. Thank you guys for watching. I'm having a blast. I'll see you in the next episode when we go to Hollywood. You guys have been great. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.